On April 14th in Benton Harbor, Michigan, supporters of Reverend Pinckney gathered at the Berrien County Courthouse where an evidentiary hearing demanding a retrial for Pinckney, who is currently serving three to ten years in prison for allegedly altering the dates on petitions to recall the mayor of Benton Harbor. Pinckney was convicted by an all-white jury in a city with a 90% African-American population. According to Victoria Collier and Ben Zion Potoshnik, who covered the trial in depth for Truthout, quote, there was absolutely no evidence to convict Pinckney, and legally the altering of a petition document should have been a misdemeanor offense. Instead, they charged him with a felony forgery, though no signatures were forged, and all signatories testified that they signed willingly on the correct day. Incredibly, the all-white jury was urged by the prosecutor to believe that direct evidence was not required. They only had to, quote, believe that Pinckney was motivated to cheat and that he, quote, could have changed the dates while circulating the petitions. The emergency manager law is the law that allowed a governor to send unelected managers that he appoints to cities where they can sell off assets, they can go in and change union contracts, they replace your local elected officials. And yes. somebody didn't hear that. The emergency manager replaces your local elected officials. The fact that we're here standing up with Reverend Pinckney is because Reverend Pinckney has become the face of resistance yes. to this offensive yes. that we're experiencing yes. in yes. Michigan. Yes. Yes. And just a couple of weeks ago, the emergency manager that had been in Detroit has now been hired by New Jersey Atlantic City. Mm. So this is just like a disease, a cancer that's spreading around the country. I just want to read this statement that my husband written from prison. These are his words. I, Michigan political prisoner, Reverend Edward Pinckney, am a victim of injustice. I was sentenced to two and a half to 10 years for supposedly changing the date on five recall petitions to recall Benton Harbor Mayor Puppet James Hightower. No material, nor circumstantial evidence, no eyewitnesses, no confession was presented at the trial that would implicate me in the five felonies. Many believe that I, an international activist and leader of yes. the Black Autonomy Network Community Organization, Banco, am being punished by local authorities for opposing corporate plan yes. of the Whirlpool yes. Corporation. Yes, yes. Headquarters right here in Benton Harbor, where a lynch mob mentality reigns. Anytime you have an economic system that refuses to feed, clothe, and house its people, it must be overturned and replaced with a system yes. that meets the needs of the people. Yes. All right. yes. All right. yes. A mass movement demanding a change economic system, one that meets the needs of the people, not the corporation. That's right. It's needed. And most importantly, we can win. Yes. This is not unrelated to the videos that we've seen yes. of Eric Garner being taken down in the street. Yes. This is not unrelated to the videos that we've seen of Walter Scott in North Charleston being yes. shot down like a dog. Yes. This is not unrelated to that violence being done through the criminal injustice system on a massive scale. There are two million, over two million people who are sitting behind bars, most of whom do not need to be there, and most of whom are people of color. That's right. And we saw a kangaroo court today yes. where they were talking about jury bias, but you were not allowed to acknowledge the fact that this was an all-white jury in an all-African-American community, all right. that is not justice, that is bias from the get-go. Yeah. We are with you all the way. I'm here as an exploratory presidential candidate because the front lines of our struggle 
in our communities should be the front lines of our presidential election and our presidential dialogue. This is what we should be talking about in the halls of power and in the discussion and the debates around our presidential candidates and our elections. And we have to understand what they do in here in Michigan, they've been slowly beginning to do everywhere else. They're That's changing right. the That's laws right. to protect the interests of the corporation. Right. Yes. If we don't begin to realize what's going on, then some of us going to die slowly. And a lot of us, I know they're going to come after us fast, yes. but they gonna, they, we're going to still be in the trenches. Yes. Let us remember the words of the late Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. when he said, in the end, we will remember not the words of our enemies, but the silence of our friends. I know it's real hard for most of us to stand up here and not just ball. Yeah. I mean, the strength of this woman standing here, I just don't even know how I would do it. Because we know it's real. We know that she goes home tonight without somebody that she loves very much. Right. And this community is absent of somebody that is incredibly important yes. not just to this community but to this country and to the world yes. and while he's inside you know it totally makes sense that as soon as i arrive here i hear about another brother gary williams yeah. who i'm sure we're going to hear lots more about yes you know that reverend pinckney would be on the inside not just thinking about yes. himself but he's thinking about all of those other prisoners that are in this country that fill the jail cells that shouldn't be there. They're there because they tried to feed their families. They there, they're there because they wanted a better future for themselves. Well, we're gonna get a victory in this fight. Yeah. We're gonna free Reverend Pinckney. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.